Howdy folks and welcome back to some more Dynasty Warriors, hope you're all doing well. In the last episode we were playing as Liu Xun and ushered in a new age of peace. In this episode we're starting a brand new Musa mode in the Shu Kingdom. We've got a number of characters to select from. Liu Bei, Zhang Wei, Ma Chao, Guan Yu, Zhao Yun, Zhang Fei, Huang Zhang. But I'm inclined to select this man, the unparalleled military genius of Shu strategist. So I'm just very curious to see what this fan wielding, green hat wearing and white robe adorning strategist is capable of. Let's find out. Let's see how good you are. The time for change is upon us! The time of the Blue Dragon is over! Let all who believe wear my symbol upon their heads! Let them fight by my side! The Yellow Dragon is come! In the spring of the year 184, Zhang Jiao raised the Chinese people against the decadent and corrupt Han Dynasty. Followers of Jiang proudly wore yellow cloths around their heads. Thus was born the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The beleaguered Han sent out their call for help and ordered a campaign against the Yellow Turbans, who numbered in the hundreds of thousands. From all across the country, brave men and women stood to answer this call of duty. Their stories, their legends are about to begin. So, just a quick head count before we start. On the battlefield we've got Liu Bei, alongside Zhang Fei and Guan Yu, Liu Yan also supporting us. To the west we have Sun Jian, Han Dang, Cheng Pu and Wang Gai, as well as I think Zhu Jian. Then to the northwest where it was just flashing earlier, we've got Cao Cao with his clan Cao Ren, Cao Hong, Xiao Dun, Xiao Yuan and He Jin, the Imperial General, as well as Huang Fu Song and Lu Zi. Zhang Zhao is to the northeast. He's got three brothers before him. All four are renowned sorcerers, so you've got on the battlefield also Zhang Manchang, Zhang Bao, and Zhang Liang. I, on the other hand, am not supposed to be here. Zhuge Liang joins Liu Bei a little later, just before the Battle of Changban. And this fan wielding menace then becomes a great fawn for Wu and Wei. But for good reasons. So, so far so good, as you can see, 10 unfortunate souls have already fallen victim to Zhu Ge Liang's deadly fan. Legend has it that even the mighty Lu Bu quakes at the sight of Zhu Ge Liang's fan, so I'm looking forward to the battle that will ensue in the next episode. Quick tip, always wipe out the gate captain in every battle, just so you can prevent more troops from coming into the battle. That really helps save time. So now I can roam around freely and kill other troops at will, knowing that there's no extra ones coming up behind me. So these guys in the purple are the Imperial forces under Heijin. Those in green are obviously the Shu forces led by Liu Bei. Each gate is being guarded by a yellow turban officer. The plan is to defeat them all, get through our individual gates and rendezvous in the center and then collectively make our way up to Zhang Jiao. But before I kill Bo Zhang, I'll just roam around for a bit.
Now that I've uh, killed some more yellow turbans with my fan, I'm going to go ahead and kill Yan Zhang and open the gate up for us to get through. And there's the mighty Guan Yu, here to assist us, with the blue dragon. Who is this? Zhu Geliang's special is quite annoying in this game, it's not very good. It doesn't keep the enemy in the air, and it's, it's quite messy actually. It's quite hard to control, but oh well. Overall, Zhu Geliang's character is quite strong though. Doing a good job so far. Lovely. One interesting thing to know is that Zhu Geliang keeps saying Sha or sometimes says Sha when he hits someone. I think that means death or die in Chinese. So yeah, just thought I'd throw that out there.
50 people have fallen victim to Zhu Geliang's fan. Rest in peace. We're just going to go and help out Wei now. So we've already helped Wu. Shu's making the way, so Wei's left. Ah! <laughs> 
over 113 people have now officially been killed by Zhu Geliang's fan.
over 150 kills from Zhuge Liang. Gosh, that fan is menacing. There we go. This is, I think, Zhang Bao's sorcery. He's impeding our march. I'm going to go ahead and kill Zhang Liang now. If you don't do so, Zhang Liang triggers some sort of rock fall. So you can either wait and witness his rock fall, which can do devastating damage to your army, or you can make quick work of him like I'm doing now to save colossal damage later. But he's a bit of a pain in the ass. Goodbye, Zhang Liang. Finish this. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
there you have it folks Zhu Ge Liang's mighty fan has quelled the Yellow Table Rebellion have a psychotastic rest of the week and I shall see you soon in the next battle take care